Well, guys, I did it. I made it to Eve and back in my career save. Whoa, 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 please hold your applause until the end. So, as usual for my career save, the missions and mission control inspired my decision to land on Eve. I had two asking me to plant a flag on the surface of the purple sphere. Like any difficult mission, I started with planning. I checked the amazing subway-style Delta V map that user Swashlebucky designed on the cheat sheet page of the wiki. And yeah, that's a lot of Delta V. Building a ship that meets these requirements might be a little beyond me. I've been to Duna and Ike, Drez and Moho, but of them, Duna has the highest surface gravity and thickest atmosphere. This is going to be a challenge unlike any of them before. I researched. Matt Lowndes Eve tutorial, but was having some difficulties with his craft. I added more legs, bigger engines, more fuel, until it was some Frankenstein creation that ultimately didn't bear any better, didn't perform any better. So I went back to the drawing board. I watched Strats and Blitz's video, Eve Infinite 2, and yeah, I'm not even going to attempt that. So I used Matt Lowndes craft as an inspiration for my own. I started by building the ascent vehicle, the part of the ship that would launch from Eve's surface. Went into my sandbox save and used the cheat menu to put my ship on Eve's surface. And once I had a functional design that I liked, I started building the landing stages for it. So I'd cheat up to low Eve orbit and test my landing capabilities. And again, once I had something I liked, I continued on. Next was the transfer stage, something can get my purples from Eve's sphere of influence to Kerbin's. That was pretty easy, just a Mark III command pod with a bunch of nerves. What I had then was this massive vessel that required a launch vehicle unlike anything I'd built before. Usually, I stick to conventional booster configurations, uh, but this needed something different. So I present to you this, my super, super heavy lift vehicle. Surprisingly, to me at least, this thing didn't require much fiddling to get it to work. I did eventually have to auto strut it together, uh, which is another thing I try to refrain from when I play, but it was necessary to keep the boosters from crashing back into the rocket after I detached them, even with a number of separate trogs on them. All in all, the R&D for this mission took like three days of long game sessions, but finally I had completed the mission in my sandbox save. It was now time to attempt it in my career save. The ascent from Kerbin is rough. You've got to time the booster separation with the disappearance of the engine plume to ensure a safe separation. Circulariz circularization is a bit precise because the stage we have for this only has a 0.54 thrust to weight ratio. We actually have to use a bit of our Kerbin to Eve transfer stage to complete the circularization, which is even worse because it's got 0.15 TWR. But anyways, now that we're in orbit, Jeb can do most of the hard work. We line up a maneuver, and I know it's recommended to make multiple burns when you're doing something like this, but I decided to wing it, just like I usually do. I fired up all engines and played a bit of Pokemon while I waited. Next was the mid-course correction, because I can never line up my transfer window successfully. Nothing fancy here. Jeb steered while I played a little more Pokemon. This next part was the longest and most tedious part of the entire mission. I decided to use my transfer stage to get us captured by Eve, spend a couple of orbits dipping into the atmosphere to lower our apoapsis. It took 30 orbits to get my apoapsis near 100 kilometers. The next pass would deorbit the entire vessel if I didn't do something about it. So at apoapsis, I undocked the orbiter and did a momentary burn to raise its periapsis above the atmosphere. We'll come back to Bill in the orbiter a little bit later. We've got to worry about the descent next. Jeb and Bob, the two most well-decorated Carbonauts in my career save, were ready for their most difficult mission yet. Jeb pointed us retrograde and Bob sat to the side and stay out of his way. Luckily, the majority of the descent to Eve is textbook atmospheric re-entry. Due to the configuration of the vessel, though, some things will need to be shed before landing can be accomplished. First, the upper heat shields. Timing the separation is important. My simulations in sandbox mode told me the best time to jettison them was just before the drogue chutes fully inflated, somewhere between 3,000 and 2,500 kilometers above the surface. Lower heat shields are kind of the opposite. They need to be jettisoned once the main chutes fully deploy so they don't immediately fly back into the lander. And finally, 
the truss structure for the lower heat shields must be detached so our landing legs can make first contact with the surface. And there it is. Touchdown on E. We take a few moments here to climb out of the rocket and do the usual science collection and flag planting before preparing to launch again. It takes a really long time to climb these ladders. Stage separation wasn't perfect here. We should have dropped the science pods before taking off, and we held onto the first little boosters for way too long. Luckily, our ascent doesn't need to be perfect, and we made it up to Louis for a bit. After a quick rendezvous and docking, we're ready to head back to Kerbin. Our descent here is nominal, and our shoots bring us safely home. Thank you very much for watching. If you're wondering why I mentioned Jeb, Bob, and Bill throughout the video when I've clearly got Val, Lisa, and Sigdos with me, it's because the script was written about the first time I completed the mission, and the footage is from the second time. Unfortunately, I didn't think to record the first one because I wasn't originally planning to make a video about it, but my pride got the better of me, and here we are. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I recommend uh, you check out the rest of my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you enjoyed this video, I encourage you to check out the rest of my channel, and if you'd like to see more like this one, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for tuning in. This is gonna be like a... Uh, I watched Stratton's... Mm. We line up a new... I was wild. We line up a new... We line up an... I... Stumbling over maneuver. We line up a maneuver.